Hey guys, this is going to be my review of Maketo. This is a on the Michelin guide as a bib gourmand restaurant, meaning that it doesn't have a star yet, but it is very highly rated, a good bang for its buck. I've been here a couple of times, but I actually never made a full video, so this is kind of a combination of all the times that I went, photos, videos, just really enjoyed this place, so I wanted to show it off. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the menu that they have. The seating area here is very nice. They have like an outdoor area, but then the restaurant itself is also very well spaced. One of the times I'd sat upstairs and there's something called a bird cage, it's just kind of like an outdoor gazebo. The other times they have like outdoor seating. It's kind of like a view of the boat, the bird cage. Um, so yeah, we can jump right in. First up is the spiced cauliflower with sesame, pickled celery, and puffed rice. This one was pretty good. It's practically like fried cauliflower that had spiced. It wasn't really served in anything, but definitely highly recommend this one. It's spiced really well. Next up is probably my favorite go-to dish. Every single time I go there, I definitely get this. It's the sourdough scallion pancake with ginger and sesame. Some scallions on top, highly, highly recommend it. They have this nice like drizzle on top. Would highly recommend that one. Next up is their vegetable spring rolls. These are just kind of normal. I wouldn't highly probably recommend to get this one. I'd probably go for the scallion pancake instead. These just seem to be normal. You can, wouldn't highly recommend it. Next up is the five spice honey latte. I couldn't tell you the five spices in here, but this was a pretty good latte for the time I got it. it they do give a lot, so maybe split it between two people, but it is a large amount of coffee. Next up is the vegetable gyozas with seasoned soy and herbs. Probably just vegetable dumplings. These are pretty good. Um, they only give three slash four, so you might want to order a couple of small plates if you are doing that. I've ordered a couple of times. All of them were good, though. Next up is a something called a strange flavor eggplant, uh, flavor eggplant with tofu puree and house-made bread. I know it sounds kind of weird, but... It tasted, I'd probably say mid, I wouldn't recommend getting this one. The strange flavor eggplant, to be fair, had a strange flavor, would not rec it, recommend getting it. The bread though was good, but at the end of the day, it's just bread. Next up is probably my favorite dish from here, aside from the scallion pancake, it's the num pang sandwich with tofu, house made bread, and Dijon and jalapeno. The tofu that they put in the middle is a nice honey glaze on it. It's just a really, really good num pang sandwich. Kind of think of it like a fancy bon mi. Next up is a lao mein with tofu, mushrooms, and sweet soy sauce. This one was good, but they do give you a lot of food for this one, so be careful if you order that just for yourself. Uh, next up is this dessert. You can kind of think of this one as a hard donut with ice cream in the middle. I think it was pineapple flavored. I would not recommend this dessert or actually any of the desserts from this place. The main small plates were probably the best things here. Don't really get the desserts here. Um, Next up, uh, you can see two of the similar dishes, but on the top you'll see some pan-seared leek and mushroom boughs. Those are pretty good. They were kind of heavy and the sauce they gave with them wasn't great, but I wouldn't fully recommend getting that one. The ones I would recommend though are the scallion pancakes and the num pang sandwich. I've gone them almost every single time I've gone. Those are terrific. These are some other photos of some of the other times I've gone. Overall though, this restaurant is definitely one of my favorites. I've been here many, many times and have recommended other people to go there. So hopefully you guys can give it a shot, 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching. All right, bye.